what is going on everybody and welcome to some don't starve gameplay by me raging tigger uh yeah let's get into this uh i'm not very good at this game i, I hate to to mention it or i hate to admit it but um yeah i'm i'm utterly terrible at this game um i don't know i just i don't know i was so i was so excited for it when i found out it was going to be free on psn uh for playstation plus users uh, back in January so it's been a while now and you know I don't play it too often because once I got it for free I was like oh my god this is so cool now even if I don't like it I don't regret it because I got it for free um, so you know I'm kind of glad that I got it for free now because I'm just so terrible at this game uh, as you can see here I mean I don't know it's just not that I find it boring because I do find it exciting you know when you're trying to survive and stuff you're getting hungry your your psyche and your mental state start to to go bad i find it just so cool you know to the whole concept of it but i'm just so bad at it i mean it's part of the reason why i struggle in games like fallout sometimes um because i mean fallout isn't as bad as you know your hunger going bad and stuff but at some point it becomes an issue when you start to just you know lose all of that kind of stuff and then you're getting hungry and it just it's affecting you real bad and you're kind of just like oh shit what am i gonna do now what am i gonna do now so yeah i mean i just have a lot of trouble throughout the game um i've seen a few videos you know there's times where i struggle and i start to think is it something i'm doing wrong maybe maybe i can just salt watch somebody else do it and i'll get some pointers from it and so i did i mean i watched a few videos and and i saw that people were saying you know it's best to just spend one whole day um looking for one type of item uh scavenging for one type of item <clears throat> excuse me so you know i also saw that you know they say that it's best to take shelter amongst the pigs because when you can bring monster meat to them they'll befriend you so that is something that i have uh taken into play because i really do enjoy it when i have my backup you know so once you can get one set of monster meat which is mainly from spiders um from there you get a companion whichever uh pig you choose to befriend or whatever and he'll help you uh as soon as you give it to him he'll go you know human friend or whatever and he'll help you out so yeah i mean that that's one of the things that i always do now that i try to as soon as i find the pig village and um from there he can actually help you get more monster meat and you can befriend more pigs so um yeah i mean it's just something that I try to do every time whenever I try and do kind of a session of this, but it doesn't always work out And so I end up doing this alone like I did this time and as you can tell I'm struggling here because I'm trying to just survive for one night until I can find the pigs and they can help me out But yeah, I mean for the first time I killed a butterfly with a fucking axe without having to like use a net or anything so um, Yeah, I mean this playthrough is just kind of me trying to scavenge for things and try and survive for at least i don't know my record's probably like two three days so that's how bad i am at this game <laughs> but uh yeah forgive me for my horrible gameplay it's just um i kind of wanted to do uh, just a little session of this because i'm just trying to keep my content fresh on the channel um i noticed my left for dead videos and the skyrim video is doing great i mean it, the views are just beyond what any of my views are currently so i'm really looking forward to doing more stuff of either the game or maybe just of fresh content to just keep people entertained and maybe entertain them to the channel because mainly i do gta 3 videos and you know they're not doing so great right now so maybe i should just start doing more current stuff so that's why i'm trying to do this don't starve kind of random session here and uh yeah um the right here is the first time that i ever kill a rabbit without using a trap now I just found that so cool because I've tried it so many times. I've tried like, oh my god, I'm trying to fucking catch it and stuff, but they're just so fast. They're almost impossible to kill without a trap. And as you just saw, I killed it without a trap. So that was pretty cool. That was mainly my favorite thing of this whole playthrough part because I don't know. I just struggled through the whole thing. Just didn't really care. Um, I just kind of wanted to see how far I could get, you know, with this new character because I've tried it as the original character. I've tried it as the fire girl. And I'm not good with either of them. I mean, it's just it's just me. I'm not saying the game. It's just I'm horrible at this game. But, you know, I tried to see, you know, trying to play with the manly man, you know, steak and eggs kind of guy for breakfast. So uh, I just kind of wanted to see how I was going to do with it. And I don't know, um, uh, according to the to the bio that he has, it says that he gets stronger when uh, when he has got a full belly. 
so i don't know like i tried to do the full belly thing but um kind of hard to do at the beginning when you have just flowers and petals and stuff um yeah and then i only got one morsel uh at this point so the whole time i was kind of just figuring out how how i could get you know some more meat so that i could cook in the end i didn't even build a a, a pit you know i i just decided i'm gonna i'm gonna go through the night so uh later later in the game is when i started to realize when i started playing i don't know more often i started realizing why am i setting up camp at this time of day that's that's there right now you know i usually set up around that time and i thought i'm just wasting fire so naturally i always go and scavenge even around this time and especially this character he is terrified of the dark so i try my best to you know just keep it between the time frame before it gets dark and you know another recommendation that i was told was keep moving at night don't set up shelter and don't stay there unless you're in the pig village already so with that being said you know i made sure that at times like this i was like okay i have to just keep going even when it's nighttime just get a torch and keep going and uh yeah i mean basically i just try to get things enough to make a torch you know i started getting trees saplings berries all that stuff and uh yeah man i mean i'm just terrible at this game i was just trying to survive and uh I don't know don't starve get it <laughs> never mind anyway so the boulders are one of my favorite things to to um scavenge items in because on the rare occasion you'll get gold and gold can really help you out um even early on you know even if uh damn it i'm full <laughs> that's one of the big problems i encounter i tend to overstuff things like uh, skyrim and stuff i always have an overkill of things so um at that point, I just decided to start eating shit because I was just like, well, I got to get rid of it. I got to have a full belly anyway because my character is stronger like that. But anyway, back to what I was talking about earlier. Um, I actually don't remember what I was talking about earlier. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, mainly at this point, I was trying to see what I could conquer of the map anyway to find out if I could find either a wormhole or a pig village or some sort of... Uh, um some sort of grounds where usually you find like some sort of torture ground or something where there's like a skeleton within the skeletons you can find ropes you can find weapons all kinds of cool stuff so you get ropes and stuff to be able to go down tunnels or holes and stuff and they really help you out so mainly that's what you want to look for even early on when you don't have a lot of weapons and stuff that's the that's kind of the main thing that you want to come across but still i mean it's just one of those things that Right there, I was deciding, um, fire or torch, fire, torch. Oh, God, it's getting dark. My, oh, shit. And that's when I realized, fuck, I messed up. I'm still full inventory. I started losing health. Oh, God. Fucking pick up that torch. Clear some room. Pick up torch. Equip. I'm getting hit. Oh, my character almost fucking died. And I was scared shitless because it's nighttime. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, I try to keep true to the thing of, you know, traveling at night, uh, regardless picking some berries lighting fires so that uh, i don't have to use my torch as much but like i said you always got to keep moving so um i'm always making sure to light the things and then turn off the torch as i need to so um my favorite thing to do with that when i'm using that girl that likes fire in the second one the second character is just light up the whole forest and then just stick around there because even if you get caught on fire it's fine because she's uh fireproof and i forget what her oh shit a turkey what the hell Oh shit, I went to go hide. Mr. Turkey. Back to the girl. Anyway, she's uh, fireproof, and I believe she has like a little doll or something that helps her. But yeah, she's she's totally fireproof, and it really helps out. Fuck you, bird. Damn, I killed the bird with a torch. That's another one that I first killed without a trap. So there's just several pluses to this playthrough part. But anyway, uh, yeah, I kind of just wanted to keep this commentary going just because... Um, yeah, this isn't a game I'm, I'm planning to do a playthrough of, but um, being that I'm getting good feedback on stuff that is not GTA, uh, I suppose I'll, I'll keep doing some more stuff. Uh, just some random sessions like this one that I just had to go through um, to try and see how long I could survive. And as you can tell, I haven't really explored much of the map. I kind of just keep going in circles without even realizing. So I'm going to go down this trail here as soon as I get rid of this tree here. It's looking at me weird and pick up those logs and let's go down this trail bird shit out some seeds gotta eat some carrots here and get a full belly so i can get strength you need your strength son get them seeds 
All right, let's go down this trail. On the road again. All right, where are we going here? Fucking trees. Quit looking at me weird. I don't like it. And my OCD kicked in here and couldn't leave that map unattended. Uh, mainly because, you know, every corner of this game has some sort of little secret, some sort of reward for just exploring. So I wanted to make sure I covered every corner that I possibly could and every base. So, yeah, mainly I just kind of wanted to go down the trail here and see what the heck was going on. And, um, oh, some berries. Yeah, never mind. Don't get those berries. Fuck that. Fuck those berries. Just go down this trail here. Um, yeah, let's, let's, what's, what's down this trail here? Ooh, some grass, some berries. Ooh. Uh-oh, trail's getting a little dark here. Uh-oh, what the hell's going on here? Oh, there's a turnoff. Big turnoff, big turnoff. Let's go down this turnoff here. And exactly what you see to your right is what I'm talking about. Heh, <laughs> not enough muscle, that's why he's dead. My mighty arms can't carry no more. Well, if your mind, well, if, 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 if your arms were really mighty, you could carry that no problem. Oh, let's plant that tree. Still didn't get rid of enough. I need room for that dart gun. Let me just eat some berries here. Fill up my stomach and take them blow darts. I see we can kill that rabbit with it. Come on, rabbit. Come on, let's kill that rabbit. Blow dart. Shoot. The fuck. Stupid rabbit. Give me back my dart, you piece of crap. Damn it. I lost my damn blow dart. Whatever. I'm not even mad. There's a skeleton there. Yeah, thanks. I realized that a plant is going to be a tree soon. Anyway, let's keep going down this trail here with all this hay and whatnot. Uh, the trail seems to turn off again into a T or a Y. There's a fork in the road. Let's go down this one over here, here and see what's going on. Try and get more coverage of the map because clearly we're struggling. But, uh, yeah, let's... Oh, a beehive. Fuck this beehive. Hey, beehive, fuck you. Fuck this be Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's where I get too cocky. I get too... Oh, you motherfucker. I got too cocky. Why'd you get too cocky, man? Fucking bees? Seriously? If the bees attack you and kill you, you're a mighty man with all that muscle. Why would you possibly let them do that? Anyway... Um, here I'm going to try to, um, I don't know, I guess, uh, play through the next part here where I actually had a save where I was doing pretty good with my gear anyway. Maybe not on my days of survival, but I had a lot of good stuff that would get me through if I just used it properly. And, uh, you'll see what's going to happen in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what happens when you're stupid. Just in case you didn't know already how it felt and is to be stupid when you're playing Don't Starve. So that's why it's always important to keep your cool, play smart, and make sure to know what you're doing whenever you jump into a game like this that requires you to be strategic and be survivalistic type of thing. Um, I'm no Bear girls, if you haven't noticed. I don't have a, I don't have a jar to drink my pee out of, but um, just gonna go down this trail here and see what the hell it leads to. Usually whenever the trail starts to change, that's usually a good thing because it'll take you to some real realm unknown. Oh, a green mushroom sleeping. How interesting. Let's keep going. Um, let's see what this trail leads to. There's a turn off there. Fuck it. Fuck that turn off. Let's keep going. Oh, there's another turn off. Let's just keep going straight. Whatever. Fuck it. I don't care. Oh, oh, the trail's getting dirty. Oh, no, a pig head. Oh, no, another pig head. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fucking tentacle porn. No! Don't go down there, you idiot. Oh my god, I can already see it getting nasty. There's where the grass was going to turn green. It was going to be all nice over there, but no. We had to be stupid and keep going down this damn creepy-ass trail or whatever. Look at the terrain. I mean, the terrain tells you alone. Freaking Black Lagoon-looking shit that tells you something bad is going to happen. And yet my stupid ass keeps going down like, Hey, I just barely started this part of the mission or part of the game. And I'm dead because I'm an idiot. I just barely started and I already fucking died. But that's what you get for not being smart, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't seen my channel before. I have a bunch of other content that you can check out, so please be sure to check those out, too. Uh, leave a like on them. It'll really help me out on all of them. So, as again, thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.